hello everyone and in this video tutorial what I'm going to do I'm going to print uh, my number 1 to 10 by using for loop and while loop so um, I already created my HTML a.html so we're going to create a boilerplate and uh, we're going to use a shortcut so how we are going to do if you are on a, a windows and if you are uh, working on visual studio code what we're going to do we are going to press on a shift and exclamatory mark so just like this and we're going to hit on enter so we don't have to write it down everything right so in our body tag i'm going to use my script tag so what i'm going to do here i'm going to add my script tag script and closing and here i'm going to create my function function number parenthesis curly braces and i would say for let i is equal to 1 because I'm going to start with 1 i is less than or equal to 10 I'm going to print until the number will reach to the 10 and until then what I'm going to do I'm going to increment i++ plus plus and I'm going to print document dot write and I'll say i okay so what I'm doing over here because since I want to print number from 1 to 10 that's why I am specifying i is going to start with a 1 it will check the condition on a second step whether 1 is less than 10 yes it is less than 10 then it's going to print the number and then it's going to this step so total four step okay so number one starting with the one right second the step number two is going to check whether it's less than 10 if it is yes then it's going to print that's number third step number four step is going to increment or you can say it's adding by one okay so now one becomes two once again it comes over here so two is less than ten yes it's going to print our uh, the i and then it's once again it's going to comes over here now i becomes three so starting point is three three is less than ten yes once again it's going it will loop through that's why it's called a loop until it becomes 10 okay so as soon as it becomes 11 and our loop will be uh, basically going to break okay I'm going to call the function so number and and you don't have to add that um, semicolon but I'm going to add for good practice because in a different language right just like a Java or any other language we need it so that's the reason I'm going to uh, use that one but it's not mandatory okay and you can right click on that one I'm going to use my live server a reason behind I don't have to every time refresh okay uh, if you don't know how to uh, download that one so basically uh, if you are using a visual studio code there is an extension over here and you can go over here and find live server I already downloaded right so installed so I am um, not going to do it uh, it's up to you if you want to do it but I would recommend it and if you don't want to use that one that's totally fine uh, there are two more things like uh, right click on that one uh, uh, a.html or whatever name of your html and there is a open in default browser if you want to use your default browser or if you want to use the other browser then you can use this one okay you have this option i'm going to use my live server and as you can see that it's printed over here 1 to 10 okay so uh, it's not looked that nice so what i'm going to I'm going to concat okay so I'm going to add so the number is give some space and plus I'm going to save so uh, I'm adding uh, my string with it is called concat and once again I click to check so the number is one the number is two but still it's not uh, look great so I'm going to add one more thing and it's a break tag okay so break tag we have another good way to do it uh, but I'm going to uh, show you in a in a while loop okay it's a better than uh, this plus plus thing okay so I'm going to save this one and if you see the number is one two three four right so it's printed out just like that okay so that's how we're going to do with our uh, for loop 
So let's do same thing with the while loop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a same function. So I'm going to comment out. How are you going to comment out? You're going to select. Now, if you are using uh, Windows, then press a control and slash. Okay. So now this is comment out. I'm using a while loop. So I have to specify just like you know we did it over here in the for loop same thing we going to do i but that's uh, uh, it's not in a that's a different way we're going to do it okay i is equal to one so that's our starting point now while i is less than or equal to 10 okay and then I'm going to use the same thing okay and here I would say I plus plus if you forget this one then your loop will be not going to end and I'm going to see if this is working or not and I can do save and same and if you want to check the while number okay just wanted to make sure and it's not number it's number the while number okay but since we are doing that's uh, it's not that great way so what I'm going to do backticks and uh, backticks is uh, 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 it's like a uh, right next to the or uh, left hand side to the number one so that sign is called backtick okay and so on the um, like left hand side when there is a your key uh, and it says the one okay uh, right next to it so left hand side so I'm going to use the number okay is and uh, I was while number new while number okay new while number is and here going to specify dollar sign curly places i and break tag and let's check i'm going to save this and check it's the same thing right the new while number the new while number is so there is another way and this is a better way to do it okay instead of just like a concrete plus plus so that's a new way to do it so hope you like my video uh, in our next video we're going to uh, print uh, like a positive number uh, or like um, yeah we're going to do positive number okay and uh, or we're going to do like odd and even and all these things so please uh, if you get some benefit uh, to watching this video if you like my video please share and subscribe and we will see you in the next video okay bye bye